Good morning everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So in this video I'll be unboxing my 2020 27 inch iMac that I recently purchased. I'll be also taking you through the process of what are the contents in this box and my specs that I chose, why did I choose them and also my setup. So let's get started. So this is the box in which the 27 inch iMac comes in. Uh, the box comes sealed. What you do is you just uh, break the seal off on the box. So you'll be watching with me as I open the box. You can see how nicely it's wrapped and packed in. So once you open the box, is there something here? Probably some booklets, we'll have a look at it this later. Really, we need to get this thing out. And what do I have in here? So something sealed packed in here. Let's open and see what this is. So that's the cord. This is what comes in the box. So what I got was uh, basically the monitor, which has the whole system, uh, the cable in here. I'm assuming the keyboard and mouse is in here. Let's see what's in this box. I'm assuming it's the keyboard and the mouse, but I'm just want to see. Okay, so yeah, as we can see, there's a mouse here, and because I got the trackpad as well, so. The mouse is here, that's the keyboard. And behind the keyboard, I think this is the trackpad. Yep, so that's the trackpad, very nicely packed. Wow, impressed. And that's, I'm assuming, the charging cable to charge the keyboard, uh, mouse, or the trackpad. And that's a, probably a plot, but very nice. And I'm impressed with the packing. So basically, when you open the box, all you find is nicely packed three things. One's the big monitor, which is here, the charging cable, and this box that has the keyboard, mouse, the trackpad that I ordered, in case you order both of them, and you know, the charging cable to charge the keyboard or mouse. So let's go ahead and I'll show you the specs of this new iMac. I have the Apple website open so let's start from the display first. I went with the standard glass I didn't go with a nano texture glass and the reason was I was reading online and it, a lot of people mentioned that uh, the glass cleaning needs a lot of attention and special care so I did place the order initially with the nano textured glass but then I cancelled and went with the standard glass. Uh, in terms of processor I upgraded to the 3. 6 GHz, 10 core, 10 generation. That's because I thought if I'm placing an order, might as well get the best one. So it helped me, you know, with the video editing. Memory, now this is a big one where any one of you can save thousands of dollars, not just one or 2,000. So I went with the standard 8 GB that's included with the uh, iMac. Initially, I was planning to go for the 128 GHz, but that would add 3,250 Canadian dollars to my order. And I will tell you this thing that if you go out, there are multiple brands out there, uh, including Samsung and many other brands that where you can buy the 128 GB memory for less than 750 Canadian dollars. So in US dollars, it's probably even much cheaper, about 550 or 600 US dollars, but you can save a lot of, so where you're paying 550, 600 dollars to 3,250, honestly, the cost didn't justify. So what I did is I ended up placing a, a memory order of 128 GB with Samsung. It should be arriving in a day or two. I will take you through the process once the memory arrives and show you, you know, what the upgrade one is. In terms of graphics, I upgraded to the Max, whichever was available. That was Radeon Pro 5700 XT with 16 GB of GDDR6 memory. 
storage, I went for one terabyte. 512 is pretty less. I'll show you in a bit uh, what the storage is already being used on this iMac, but I went for one terabyte just to be on the safe side. Ethernet, I went for the gigabit Ethernet. Mouse or trackpad, I went for both. So I, ha I bought a mouse and a trackpad both together. I got the pre-installed software as well, the Final Cut Pro X and the Logic Pro. Previously, I've been using the iMovie to edit all things you know all my movies and everything but i decided okay let's go you know i know that uh the final cut pro x is a very good software so i decided to go with that one and uh that's what i did but in terms of here uh like here 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 are my specs you can see the display uh it's a 27 inch uh, display storage so the reason i went for one terabyte you can see here up is already with the pre-installed software i'm already nearing near about like you know i would say uh close to 63 gb here used 13 blah blah, blah something here used i've already used about 100 more than 100 gb of, of space so 102 gb is gb is used i have about 898 available so in case i went for the lower uh, you know which was 500 uh sorry i'm just missing 512 uh gb ssd storage uh i would be already you know edging towards 400 gb left so i said why not that's definitely a very good upgrade and i did that uh, memory as you can see it's the 8 gb here what i've ordered and what's coming from samsung is basically uh 32 gb of four so that would be 32 32 these two empty spaces will be filling up and the four four will become 32 32 so in total i'll have 128 gb of uh, memory storage that's about it so that was my quick and short uh, video for the unboxing and the setup let me go ahead and show you how i have my imac displayed um on a vavo yeah vivo sorry yeah vivo uh table that i ordered on amazon it's a very nice uh table but let me show you guys the quick setup uh, before we end this video so here's the vivo table this table i ordered on uh, amazon and as you can see my imac is nicely placed on it I can even rise this table up. Uh, right now I have it on my kitchen countertop. Here's the back of the new iMac 2020. I have the wires nicely here. And that's what, that's the lever if you want to see how the table is. So if I press this lever up, I can have the table lifted all the way up or if I release it, it just stays where it is. So in case you want to see the video of the table setup of how it goes up and down, make sure to write in the comments below and I'll make sure that I, you know, make a video to show you how it is. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so you don't miss on any future upcoming videos. Till next time, take care and I'll talk to you soon. Oh,